Deep in the jungle of Mexico, a lost Maya city now found thanks to new laser technology. PhD student Luke Al Thomas says he was looking through data on the internet and the numbers revealed a hidden gem. I was uh, delighted to find that the survey had in fact mapped lots of ancient Maya ruins previously uh, completely unknown to the scientific community. Across the sites the team mapped, more than 6,000 ancient buildings tied to the Mayas revealed their way of life. Pyramids and plazas, even a court for ball games. All of the hallmarks of a lowland Maya political capital from about a thousand years ago. The scientists named the city Valeriana after a nearby lagoon. And based on the architecture, they think it was founded before the year 150. The Maya had hundreds of cities across Central America in its heyday, around 250 to 900 CE. But then the civilization collapsed and cities turned to jungles. Today, tourists from around the world flock to the Yucatan Peninsula to see the remnants. Wonders like Chichen Itza, Tulum, Coba. And now LIDAR, the same remote sensing technique used in self-driving cars and other robotics, is helping to discover more hidden cities like Achiotal in Guatemala. It shows peeling away the points that represent vegetation to show buildings underneath. And now Valeriana, showing us just how urban the Mayas were and how quickly things can change. Maya civilization captures the imagination because it was populous and urbanized and complex. What may seem like, uh, you know, a, a giant thriving city that's always going to be there can actually end up being covered by jungle in the space of 200 years. The new findings inspiring researchers to keep digging. Marissa is joining us now. It's so interesting here. What do experts think this tech can be used for? Like, uh, are there other, you know, lost cities out there that they could maybe find? What's the sense? Yes, exactly that, Hallie. They think that there might be other finds exactly like what we're reporting on right now, especially in places like the Amazon. And of course, we know how densely wooded that is, that amazing Amazon rainforest. And so this kind of technology can really allow them to map out an area that has just in general been hard to access before, Hallie. And technology is making these kinds of things, these kinds of searches, this kind of thing easier for researchers, obviously, as you laid out there. Yes, in so many ways. And I actually had a really long conversation with a professor just now. Um, his name is Francisco Estradavelli, and he is not only a member of that same team that made this discovery, he actually taught Luke, who we, of course, interviewed in this story. And he gave me some interesting stats that I want to lay out for you, Hallie, that explain how LIDAR, which has been around for a while and only recently became commercially available for archaeologists like this team, is really making things so much easier for these archaeologists because normally they would have to cut trails through these dense wooded areas and they wouldn't even really know what they were going to find as they were cutting down paths through these forests and instead of course now they have this technology that allows them to be far more efficient here's some stats for you it took archaeologists roughly 100 years to map out 500 square foot in the maya lowlands hallie in under two weeks using lidar they mapped out two thousand square kilometers so a massive difference here they're able to be much faster but i asked how come we haven't seen this used if it's that much easier well they said it can be roughly one hundred thousand dollars just to map out a few square kilometers so that's the main reason why we're not seeing more discoveries more quickly they're looking for funding but obviously this find giving archaeologists a lot of hope about what the future has in store Marissa Parra, so interesting thank you very much for bringing that story to us appreciate it Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.